here's your next one. This one is about school advice, um, because soon you'll be going to high school, and it's a good idea to get some tips or advice. Advice, uh, good points, suggestions. We give advice. Why don't you do this? Please do this. Please don't do that. This is advice. If we go to number 32, school advice. Um, there are 10 pieces of advice. I think I got this from somewhere on the internet. I think it's from an American site. I don't remember where exactly. Well, a couple of places. But it was giving some suggestions. I think it was a magazine article. And uh, so I, I got some of the ideas and wrote them down here. Let me go through a little bit. I won't read everything. I want you to read it, but I'll just go to the main points and any of the vocabulary. Right, okay, school advice. Number one, set long-term goals. Okay. Goal is your final point, your dream. Long-term means it takes a long time. The opposite is short-term. Short-term goal for me today is to eat a sausage. My long-term goal is to be happy in life. Long term. So make, set means make. Make a long term goal. Okay. Number two, master time management. Time management is using your time. Do you sit and play on your smartphone? Or do you do your work first and then finish and then um, do something? That, that's time management. Management is organizing. So master means become the boss of time management. Important. Number three, select a balanced course load. If you choose, uh, so in high school, you might be able to choose different courses. Don't choose the most difficult things all the time, because then you'll be worn out. But don't choose the easiest things all the time. Get a balance of some difficult subjects, some easy subjects. So if you have very difficult things to study, have an easy club, like join the, I don't know, badminton club. Or, I don't know, I don't know, maybe badminton's not so easy. I don't know. You have to choose. Balance. Not too much of one thing. Okay? Number four, be active outside the classroom. So not only doing work, doing your homework, but also clubs and helping other people. Number five, participate in class. That means... Um, uh, talking in your class, raising your hand, talking to the teacher, asking questions. Oh, by the way, I just noticed, yeah, number four and number five. Number four, there's a, a black a word in bold, issues. Issues means problems. And in number five, engaged, be more engaged in their learning means involved, connected, active, doing things. Okay. Number six, take good care of yourself, means look after yourself. Be careful, right? Take good mental care. It's mental. Mental is your brain. Look after your brain. Or I think American uh, Japanese would say heart. Uh, in English, we say your, your mental, your brain. Make sure you're happy. Make sure you're not stressed. That's your mental health. Okay. Number seven. Find your passion. The passion the thing you really want. This is difficult in life. Sometimes you can go through. Mo a lot of your life not knowing what your passion is. If you can find your passion early, you'll be ahead of Mr. Sheriff. Okay, number eight, learn to say no. We usually say to people, always say yes. Say yes, 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 yes. But if you say yes to everything, you have, you're doing things that you don't want to do. Sometimes you have to say no. You say no, you know, oh, please come and have a party. Let's go, let's go. No, I have to finish this first. Sometimes you have to choose. So you have to learn how to say no kindly. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you. But I'm sorry. I'm busy. Sometimes you have to say no. Okay, number nine. Le earn leadership roles. That earn means um, work hard to have leadership roles. Leadership would be president. Not the American president. He's not a leader. But, um, you know, like uh, the president of your school or um, leadership. If you are in charge of your group, uh, in in a, in a club, uh, the captain of a team. These are leadership roles. Good practice, good experience to do. Finally, number 10, build and use a support network. Support network means group of friends or teachers, some nice teachers that you can talk to or friends that you can talk to when you have problems. 
this is a support network. This is all good advice for school and for life. Okay, your job is to finish writing on the other side, one to ten. You know the deal. And let's talk about uh, school. An interesting point. These are all for American high school. Is it the same in Japan? Is this good advice for Japanese students? You tell me. See you. Oops, you can see this. <laughs> I was going to zoom out. Uh, this is in Europe. It's a famous city for music. It was a strong city 100, 200 years ago. Um, what else? They speak German here, but it's not in Germany. Do you know? It's Vienna. Vienna. I've been there a couple of times. It's a nice city. Delicious uh, cakes and coffee.